This video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. NBA Jam. Four players. Don't judge me. One of them's right. I think there's like, it's like a double poster. Oh, yeah. Tension. Tetris sealed. A plus. Ooh. Thank you for not ruining my shot, dude. They shot me an offer that I couldn't refuse, so I was like, take it. I probably should have the best way to play physical. <laughs> <laughs> what makes these go for so much? Because you're selling it to me at what you got it for, which is like 520. 520, yep. But you said one just sold it. How much? Uh, last one I seen, 1200. Before that, it said 1700. Wow. I mean, they go for a lot, man. This. At first, I thought it was like an emoji. That's what I thought. And then look on the inside. Open that up. Pac-Man, right? That's a Pac-Man pal. And then, Ricky, look at, look at this over here, too. These are dead stock Hot Wheels boxes, but I don't think they've ever been opened. I think these are all sealed shut. What year is that? This, this is probably like 80, maybe even 90. I see them make them like this, but look. These are all tons of different Hot Wheels. I'm not the biggest Hot Wheel guy, but when it's like these cool collector's yeah. ones. So, <laughs> and then down here got Tomb Raider, this Mortal Kombat trilogy. This one's kind of cool. It's Jade, and then another, and then another Furby. If you remember, I bought uh, about 27 Furbies from Dusty last week. So I guess there was one hiding out. This one doesn't look. Uh, this is still sealed, but the ones I got last week were like in their original bags and everything. So hey, you know what, Blake? Don't judge me. So a few weeks ago, we saw the giant Yoda lot, but I think it's officially been picked through at this point. But I found this one in there. This is really cool, but <laughs> I saw this. You're invited to marry Kate and Ashley's. This is awesome. Ricky and I, that was a big, long running joke on our old channel, Retro Liberties. We always make Mary Kate and Ashley references. The biggest disappointment, I think, is no Mary Kate and Ashley games yet. So maybe next time. Oh. So this is something I feel like I gotta get. Ricky's still digging. Oh. A Yoda toy? About two weeks ago, Ben presented me with an offer that was amazing. This was for an analog. If you don't know, this is one of the primo ways to play your original Nintendo games. Now, it's not playing an original Nintendo, but if you're playing hardware, this is one of the best ways to do it. Maybe the absolute best way to do it. And this is a little tempting. Ben, two weeks ago, said these sell for like 1500 bucks. He's offering me one for what he paid, which is like $520. This is gonna be the thought process through this whole video. Should I get this? I gotta think about this. Check out these horror VHS. So it happened to be that I was funny enough standing right by Blake when this happened. Just some of the most awesome old school horrors. Boogeyman 2, again guys, ladies and gents, the weird ones, the wacky ones that you never hear of, that's the good stuff. That's the stuff you want. This house too has such good cover art. We've never seen this one before, the Redeemer, but it says horror on the art, so that one's super sick, gotta be picked up as well. And then some enemy. Uh, apparently there's a lot of games over here. So we gotta go look real quick. Thank you, Curtis is watching our thing. Let's go see. Look at Ricky. And Super Nintendo. Black Mana, Super Mario, PS2. We used to have Super Complex, Ricky. What else do you see over there? I don't see nothing, bro. Look, there's Kessin, bro. Do you like, do you like Kessin? <laughs> Kessin, my Sweet, okay, yeah. What's all, what's all these, Ricky? Which ones? I'll sleep on a lot of this, too. Uh, no, PS2. DVDs. Oh, PS2, here you go, dog. Any good ones, though? Oh, yeah, right here. There you oh, go, one. Do you like Tekken? They're empty? Yeah. Oh, like they're empty, huh? So I got from that booth Metroid and Mortal Kombat for 25 bucks. Eh, it's probably worth like closer to 40, so decent deal on it. That booth seemed really promising. A dude right before us, though, grabbed all the good stuff. But good for him, he was actually super nice. Subscribe to the channel, super, super cool dude. So, you know, it's something, it's something. Ricky, look how pretty these ones are. Ooh, these Marlboro hats are pretty pretty, actually. I kind of think I have to buy those. Those are really pretty ones. This, oh, there we go, another one. Ricky, Ooh. you see anyone you like in here, bro? You see, right here, dude. Actually, it's Rolling nice Hills Golf Lodge. This is, a nice, this is a nice hat, too, the silver dollar one. Ooh, that is sick, I like that bottom bill. <laughs> me right, me right. <laughs> Found some cool old shirts, like some dead stock, like, like anti-theft shirts. But these are kind of cool. There's some uh, laser disc in here, but look. Ready? There's some really cool ones in here. So I'm just kind of digging right now, trying to see what else I can find in here. I think that's it for those. This is kind of cool too, like a old, like how to like set up your audio and stuff. I love old stuff like that as well. So 
that's it for now. We'll see what else. The laser disc ended up being just far out of the right price. So picked up these for now, the shirts. Curtis, show me what you got. Nah, it's an x -Files promo uh, flyer, dude. Ricky, you said you needed new firewood and kindling. Oh, this is perfect kindling, dude. This, this lenticular stuff <laughs> goes up in flames. How much is the PlayStation bro? Too much. 150. Ricky, you know anything about this Wolverine? Which one? That's from the original movie. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. The original X-Men 2. It looks kind of cool. X2. I mean, he doesn't, he, his face looks kind of derpy werpy, but. And Oddly enough, I, I, Superman. You don't see that one too often. Well, I don't know if it's worth anything. I don't want to look it up. Bro, why is it all about price with you, dude? I thought you were a collector. Well, he's not that cool. I mean, the regular Wolverine with the, like the, you know, the yellow. Perfect. Wait, 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 what'd you get? I just got this yeah, Joy Red Halo like figure. Boom, 10 bucks. 10 bucks, nice. It's cool. How much is this Flintstone right here? Uh, 20. 20 bucks? Dang, he is pretty cool. He's really cool. He's over 20 years old already. I really like the look they have of Fred. He just looks like, you know, so, so cartoony. So here's my cart, looking good, feeling good. And then, feeling good, yeah, feeling good. <laughs> Ooh, this thing's nice. I mean, it's missing a knob, but it's still pretty, it's pretty clean. What is it? NBA Jam, four players. Tonight's matchup, NBA Jam. What do you like better? All right, hang time versus NBA Jam. You guys tell us in the comments, but Ricky, what about you? Oh, uh, if I'm gonna pick, pick one of them, probably hang time for the Dreamcast. That's a great game. Yeah, that's a good one. Look at all those Xbox headsets, I just realized. Oh, shoot. Look at this. There's like pick 10 them of them. Up. Well, that's kind of interesting. We'll see. I mean, if they're in decent condition, I mean, the boxes look like butthole sniffers. The insides, uh, they don't look too good either, actually. I'm gonna pass it, pass it, pass it, barato, barato. Uh, uh. That's a real movie? What the, Johnson? All right, I got two more games that we need right here, two interesting ones. So I got Wrecking Crew and Shockwave. It's shocking to me, funny enough, that I never had Wrecking Crew, how are we this far ahead in the set? Five Screw Wrecking Crew, and didn't have Wrecking Crew. This is a Ben game, Ben loves Wrecking Crew. And then also Shockwave, a unique one, one of the funky junks that most people don't consider part of the set, but I'm a guy, this is all part of my set. Every NES game in existence is part of my set. So we gotta see how many games we have now. All right, so last, six name, though. <laughs> last week I thought we were at a different place, yeah. but officially where we're at now, I really, really wanna find two NES games because right now we're at 698. NES games. So I couldn't believe it. I had an empty cart and out of nowhere, dude, not even not even five minutes after we did the whole thing, I'm like, dang, I got nothing. Lewis and Jake, Jacob, literally yell, Rick, I'm like, what's up? Pull up with a bag, they're like, check out this bag, open it up. I'm like, all right, all right, cool, cool. Whoa, 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 what's oh, happening over here? Let's take a quick pause to talk about something that I almost can't believe I didn't have sooner and would have probably changed my life if I did have it sooner. And that's my mattress. We're talking about Helix. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently shipped right to your door. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including their award-winning Lux and Ultra Premium Elite collections. The Helix Plus is a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers, and the Helix Kids mattress designed for growing bodies and endorsed by child sleep and medical experts. Everybody is different, and Helix knows that. So they made a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. The quiz was actually really important for someone like me because I have kind of a unique sleep set also I obviously sleep next to my wife I start out the night on my back with my arms crossed and then I kind of switch midway through the night to the front of my body and based on my results helix matched me with their helix dusk Lux. so I've had this mattress now for maybe only a month and this is what I was talking about earlier oh my gosh I told my friends the other day is this one of those situations where I realize later on in life like 
if I would have had a different mattress throughout my life, would I have been enjoying sleeping this much? I swear on my, Scout's honor, I feel like I'm in some like luxurious, like resort, unreal better sleep. The best part about all of this is that Helix delivers your mattress right to your door with free shipping to the US. The mattress comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. If it makes you nervous to buy something that you haven't tried, Helix has a 100 night sleep trial. So you get more than three months to make sure that you love it. Plus, Helix mattresses have a 10 year warranty and they even offer financing options and flexible payment plans. So a great night's sleep is never far away. Again, thankfully this video is sponsored by Helix. And they are offering to all of you amazing people in this community of Pixel Game Squad an exclusive discount this month, 27% off your mattress purchase. Plus two free pillows. You gotta use the promo code HELIXPARTNER27 to take advantage of this special offer. And act fast, this discount ends after Labor Day. Check out the Helix site for more. Back to the video. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's oh happening my. over here? It's the Pikachu. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Pikachu edition. Dang. With, wait, 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 look at this. Watch, watch, watch this. Okay, 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 okay. Don't let that game system fall out. I won't. With games, dude. Games. Ultra packs. Are you buying it, dude, or trying to? Let's see how much he wants. Oh, spicy, spicy. Now I'm scared. How much? 240, 273. 299. It had the two the, the 2DS XL Pikachu with the face on it and a bunch of games. I didn't I didn't go through it yet. So I don't even know what I'm getting technically, but they shot me an offer that I couldn't refuse. So I was like, oh, take it. 250? I'll do 250. Sweet. Please have 250. Please have 250. Please have 250. Do I get 10%? Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Five, here's no 100. Here. Thank you, sir. Shee. I went from having one thing, Uno thing, to having like 10 O things. And that was great. So we don't even know what games were in there, Ricky. Dude, uh, let's see. We didn't even like look. I it just, could be a banger, or it could be all oh, Mary Kate's and Ashley's, which would be the best. That would be the best. Yeah. That's a good one. Mario that's Luigi. A really good one. Animal Crossing, that's Animal good. Crossing, mid. Ooh, that's a great game. Zelda, great one. Uh, ooh, Mario, one? great one. Pokemon? Pokemon, Ultra Sun. Good. Mario Luigi Dream Team. Another good one. Mario Another Bros. good one. <gasps> oh, oh, shoot. You did and great. I, I know. I was like, ooh. Let me see how clean this console is, though, real quick. We never watch it's all scratched up. <laughs> we never look. <laughs> oh, no. You took oh, care that of it. Good, baby. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, pizza. What are you looking at, Ricky? A bunch of, it's just boxes of manuals, but. Still, still, you know who would do well with those? Like store owners, but the problem is we don't know any store owners. I don't, dude, do you know any? <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Chris. Well, you know, you win some, you win some, or you lose some. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's super cool. Bad channels on air. Dang. That's a rad one, dude. Killer music, alien airwaves. That, that one cool. looks like a loogie. That's awesome. What about the one you were holding, Ricky? What was that one? I think Chris said it's newer, but still. Hold it right there. Was that Friday? Friday. One of them's Friday. I think there's like, it's like a double poster. Oh yeah. That's, that's J isn't that Jason Goes to Hell? Jason Goes to Hell. Wow. Huh? Awesome. That is a great cover. Yeah. Here we go. Really cool, haunted mansion, room for one more, with embroidery, original tag on it, little bag. That's a McBile, uh, there's a, here's like a lot of horror. <laughs> this like random books around here, it's all like, kind of like dark tales and stuff like that, yeah. Ooh, dude, gauntlet, CIB. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, oh. What would make you feel, what, what would make you feel good? I saw the easy Ricky, what do you think, 80 bucks for both? Working. What, what game is it? They do work. Ooh, what game was that? Mario. Oh, it was Mario Deluxe Mario or Mario. whatever. What do you think, Ricky? Power buttons missing. Oh, dang, yeah. The power light button's missing. Is it? Get him, bring right it back here. over here. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. Thank you, appreciate it. So it's so funny. I watched Dennis buy that off yeah. someone for 40 bucks and I walked up to him like, hey bro, I'll just buy it off you before you even walk away. So he bought these for 40, sold them me for 70, but they do both work. They do both work. So I feel good about it. Game Boy Colors, the bright, beautiful colors. You know, I know this, this is a, a, a replacement shell right here, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. 
So as the day's going on, I'm still thinking about what I talked about this morning, that analog. The more I think about it, I just keep being like, I am doing the full NES set. I probably should have the best way to play physical. Again, I do have a Mr. Add-ons. From Mr. Add-ons, I think that's my best way of plug in without carts and just play. That's the cleanest. But as far as plugging in a cart, I feel like I'm gonna have to do the analog. The thing is, where's Ben? Been digging through a lot of laser discs today, and um, oh, that's kind of cool. Laser disc, put that to the side. Laser disc and uh, records. Been getting a little more intrigued, a little bit. Got a few movie ones with me right here, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Here's some more I grabbed right here. Check this out. E.T. Firestarter, The Blues Brothers, which is awesome. Battlestar Galactica, even freaking Sylvester Stallone in Paradise Alley. Uh, more over here, like Alien and Raiders of the Lost Ark, Jaws 2, Dracula, The Wiz, Stand By Me. That's 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 stuff I'm feeling good about right now. I'm gonna go dig more though because there's one stupid. I thought I smelt something. I thought I smelt something. <laughs> You know, if you're subscribed to Camel Crew Picking, you've made a grave mistake. Thank you for subscribing. We love you guys. Dude, thank you for not ruining my shot, dude. Lefty. I'm not a lefty, just, you know. Well, but this guy. You want to still want to shake my hand for botting your shot? Oh! <laughs> this is kind of brutal to look at. It's like I want to, I always want to rescue this stuff, which I do pretty often, but there's so much involved and there's like almost impossible for us to be able to test with like the printer the printer oh my gosh the commodore tape set yeah and this stuff is so heavy too the floppy disk drives sometimes i'm feeling it today is not one of those days what in the world look at these commodore games dude bagasaurus based on the edge and cage calls found in the entertaining electric company tv show what look at this what? These are like the weirdest. This is Commodore like art studio. Look at these Commodore things. Yo, look at this one. Look at this one. Skeet Rock for the Commodore 64. Please, Lord, tell me it's in there. Look at this. Never seen this in my life. It's skateboard mania. All the bad dudes are out to prove. Okay, this is cool. This one, I think it's in there. Then there's a bunch of other ones that are like word stuff. And this is the more for like, printer stuff, eh. but this is, these ones are cool. Hi, Dusty. Yeah. Look at this, dude. You know what's even better? What? Chris clipped the good ones, dude. Dang, Chris. You know he pays less than me, dude. Look at the ones Chris took. Oh, well, well, you know, Chris did get some of the good ones. That is sick. Hey, good for him, though. That's awesome. I'm only jealous of this one, to be honest. But I got skate rock. I got skate rock. Come on. I think I'm getting waxed by Dusty. He always tells me I have to buy the whole thing or nothing. You're getting waxed. You ever see an item at the swap meet or anywhere that you never knew existed and you're just like, I have to have this. After seeing this, the colors, the vibrance, just being a skate rock thing with the super wild style, this was one of those items that no matter what, I was just like, Dusty, what's it worth? Let's look it up. I think it was like 20 bucks. Willing to pay him right then, right there. It's something I have to have in my collection, absolutely. Nothing like digging at the swamp meet, and then you look behind you and see your daughter and Ricky's daughter. Hey, guess which one is my daughter and guess which one's Ricky's. <laughs> I'm guessing it'll be pretty obvious how to guess. What's happening? I ate a pretzel. You ate a pretzel? Yeah. Well, good morning and welcome to the swamp meet. As we leave the swamp meet, I start to think about what I'm buying. The Analog Mini NT Noir, or the Analog NT Mini Noir, however you want to say it. I think it's prime time for me to get a primo way to play my cartridges physically. Yes, nothing beats the original feeling of holding an NES controller, an original NES console of game in there, but sometimes it's nice to have those extra crispy, extra ways to play the games that just show a little extra love to the actual gameplay. And nostalgia aside, I don't think I've mentioned this before on our show, but the swap meet we go to every week is just like five minutes away from Retro Games Plus, Chris's shop, so we can look. Look at this. 
Ben. Ben just bought this. Hold that out, Ben. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. And it's straight up the hyperactive video game, so it's the cover for the NES game. Fat boy size nine inch. So this inch. is a 40 year anniversary that they did because they came out in 84 apparently. Unreal. And uh, yeah, so they only make 40 of them. I've never been more jealous of anything. So. <laughs> so when we're in Chris's store, we walk to the back and immediately Chris is like, oh, I have something. And I kind of look in the corner and I see right there in the corner, graded games. Let me see these. Let me see these. So I did just get recently Bubble Bubble 2, which is a banger, but my goodness, look at these. I start looking through and it's NES sealed games. That's where it gets good. Not just graded games, because to be honest, not everything graded. I don't care about like graded Xbox games or PlayStation. This doesn't do anything for me. But graded NES sealed and the titles are the good titles. Final Fantasy, grade A sealed, okay. Tengen Tetris sealed, A plus. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Mike Tyson sealed. This is the. Oh. That's the big boy, the Mike Tyson. The really? That one has like no comps on that. I have no idea on that one. Probably, like, a, a, really probably like 100 bucks I'd give you. <laughs> you can't say it goes for more because you just said no comps. <laughs> so, yeah. Right now it's a hundo. Heck yeah. The one that's kind of sticking out to me the most, everyone's saying that uh, Mike Tyson's punch out is the one that's most for them, but for me it's that Chippendale too. And apparently maybe it is the most rare because he said there's no comps or anything, but I think just it being Capcom, Disney, but one of the rare Capcom Disney's and it's Chippendale 2, which if you don't know, currently I've been saying for about a year now, Chippendale Rescue Rangers is my favorite NES game of all time right now it always changes dude wow that is just which one would you keep if you could only keep one the tyson tyson, the tyson. i would go chip and dale too if i could that, that's more just for nostalgic reasons but yeah i would go with that ricky what about you tyson <laughs> tyson wow you guys are all sellouts dude the tetris I, pretty cool too actually tension tetris that is yeah. beyond sick Ooh, oh yeah oh, oh, that's me. What? That's sell good. it to me bro <laughs> he just stayed quiet. <laughs> these ones I was sending, those ones I was gonna keep, but these I was Those are all NES? Yeah. Was Bro, oh, let yeah. me see these. Romance of the Three Kingdoms? Shoot. Best oh, Metroid. Metroid? Boxer. Look at that one. Yeah. <sighs> I know, that one is so good. What else? What else? Star, Star Soldier. Soldier. Dude, we need to start a store too. Oh my Star gosh. Star Tropics too. That's a, I actually have that one. I almost Ooh, bought that one. It's, it's, this is actually probably the cheapest one. Did you know that? Really? They're like, you can like, I think there's one on eBay for like 200 bucks. Great, really? great really? and sealed, yeah. Maybe there was like a box that was found? Yeah, this one, it's, it's shocking because it's Star Tropics, right? Yeah. It's part two, but you would think. Oh, bro, this is the year, right? Here. Hoops, let's go! <laughs> okay, maybe that's the cheapest one. Let's go! <laughs> yes, we have, we just cracked one. An where impossible you, mission too. What not? Oh, what not? Yep. I think this one got traded in here. Really. Yeah, Dusty had them. Dusty, you know Dusty Games? Our oh, buddy with Warehouse, he found a, he has a pallet. He has a pallet. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make a move on any of these. I would like to. I'd actually kind of like to get that RC Pro-Am, even though we had a chance to get it a while ago. I'm kind of feeling it today. But the more important part is I came to get that analog. And I can't believe it, Ben. Out of how many, almost, almost, 600, this will make 699 NES games. I don't have Super Spike V-Ball mixed with Nintendo World Cup. So I have the single of this game, Super Spike V-Ball, and I also have Nintendo World Cup, which are, by the way, both absolutely fantastic video games, but I literally do not have this, and this puts us at 699 NES games in the set. <laughs> Rip! Yes, sir. <laughs> Found one. No. Dude. No. How do we not have it? Well, it's because I was like, Tengen, when do we not have a Tengen? Fantasy. Ah, look at that. Fantasy zone. Fantasy zone. And we can get off that, that little writing down there. Chris! We need you. Christo, let's get some fantasy zone, bro. Wanna get in the fantasy zone, Rick? I don't, I don't I, know. That sounds kind of wrong. <laughs> I think I saw it's Curtis parked at a club called Fantasy Zone the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis is in the back just laughing. Good, <laughs> right. Ooh, I got there it is. Ooh. Fantasy oh, Zone. We can clean that right off. We can clean that off. We can clean that off. That's good enough. That's good enough. Oh, yeah. It comes right off. There we go. Ricky, I've never been more sad in my life 
What happened? I was looking up fantasy pH. I'm so sad right now. <sighs> I'm so sad. We have fantasy zone already. Dang it. Ricky, we're still at 699 NES games. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Somehow, some way, we have 699 games. You see that RBI baseball? How do we not have one of the cheaps, one of the janks? RBI Baseball 3 puts us at how many games, Ben? 700 NES games. Ladies and gents, we needed Super Sprint on the NES as well. This puts us at 701 NES games. All right, Ben. I'm ready for this. What, is this it? This is it. It's Analog NT Mini, Mini Noir. Noir. Correct. So Ben, why don't you tell people about what the, yeah. what makes this so good as we come around and the value too about yeah. this. Yeah, so there's one seal down below, but I did bring mine just so I to can, show you. I'll open it up. And yeah. again, I am keeping this. I am not, yeah. this isn't something that I'm, you know, gonna be reselling, anything yeah. like that. I'm gonna open it. So this is a used one, what they look like in there. I will pop mine open at home. So this plays NES and Famicom, from my understanding. That's correct. Yep. And you're saying this is the primo way to Pretty play much. an actual to play a cartridge. cartridge. Yeah. What makes these go for so much? Because you're selling it to me at what you got it for, which is like 520. 520. Yep. But you said one just sold it. How much? Uh, last one I seen 1200. Before that, I said 1700. Wow. I mean, they go for a lot, man. All right, so this is the one I'm buying off you, and this is just straight up dead stock. Yeah. So these were uh, they came out in 2020. And so I had bought a couple extra. Do you think and COVID I put them in there? Do you think COVID played a part in like why they were so hot? Not or? really. Okay. I would say no. So Analog is just such a boutique company that uh, I think uh, maybe some people didn't really know about them for a while. Okay. Um, so what happens is you when you get into retro games, you buy the cheap stuff, right? The the Hyperkin, you know, and just to get going, right? And Which then, is what uh, I did. Yeah, exactly. And again, there's nothing better than playing on original hardware as far as nostalgia. But if you want to hook up to HDMI, then you got to look for other alternatives. Yeah. And so, you know, most people I feel like buy the cheap stuff and then they learn about the real expensive stuff and they're like, they gradually want the premium, you know, the top of the cake. Of course. Top of the cake. So here it is. Here it is. Ooh, spicy, spicy, spicy. So it's clean. It's mint. I don't need to necessarily open it here. Um, you will see it hooked up in my house though because we just opened one. But it's crazy how they just go with the all matte black look, like perfectly. I think just... that's the noir part. Oh, okay, that's why they call it that, yeah? Yeah. 1080p, HDMI, FPGA, unparalleled compatibility. This will be a uh, primo, primo way. And what do I owe you? 520. 520. Would you like Venmo, sir? Sure. Deal is done. Five... You know, I actually might have most of that cash, actually. And then I can Venmo you the rest. Thank you. Good. Let me go uh, reach out to a friend of mine. He knows a little bit more about this. I can see if, oh, he, yes, sir. Okay. if he knows anybody, he can come back, maybe make you an offer. All right, let's okay. do it. Okay. And this is my pawn shop. Did you get my pictures online? Yeah, so is this it? This is it. Analog NT Mini Noir. I know I sent you some pictures before. Oh yeah, yeah, this is good. This is really nice boot. But what do you think about this was my concern right here, the, the no, no, This is a really nice boot. That's a bootleg. Yeah, you got waxed. That's a bootleg. That's a bootleg. I already been so him. I don't know. You should have called the expert beforehand. You never know what is going to come through that door.